little car. I just roll it flat and leave it down. Nice save. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a big one. Dustin, get in there and catch it. Yeah. You gotta lose your grip. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. I can't believe this is working. Who is he? Who even is he? <laughs> okay guys, we are doing a little monolithic slab. It is 23 by 16 right here. We just dug out a bunch of this material, kind of a sandy gravelly mix. We took out this huge stone right here, as you probably seen in the first part of the video there. And Big Biscuit just tamped it all. That stone was like right here. Tamped it all. We uh, packed that big hole in and lifts coming up through. I got a load of uh, what's called item four gravel. It's a crushed gravel. It's like a three inch minus crushed gravel. I got that coming. I'm gonna dump like half of it in here and then I'm gonna put the other half over here. Then we're gonna level that out and we're gonna tamp it. Then we're gonna put foam board on that. And then we're gonna build it up some more and we're gonna pour some concrete on top of it. It's gonna be like a reverse heated monolithic slab. We're gonna put a little beauty shop here. This is my uncle and my cousin's marina. Salmon country. And we're going to, they're going to have a hair shop here. Um, Jimmy's wife, Julie, is going to have a hair shop here. So that's what we're up to today. Just waiting for the gravel to come. We should be coming down the line here in a minute. Okay guys, this is how we're doing it. We put our vapor barrier down and we started laying our foam on there. We gotta go get a couple more sheets of foam. And now I'm going to put some uh, gravel on the inside to build it up. Because right now, if we were to pour that, the whole thing would be like 10 inches, 10 to 11 inches thick. We don't want that. So we're gonna build it up with gravel on the inside, kind of doing a reverse monolithic slab. We're gonna leave the edges thick, but the middle is gonna build up so that when we're all done, it's gonna be a mono slab. So I got a little bit of gravel left, but I can uh, get some more from my uh, excavator supplier guy. And that's how we're gonna do it. Stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like, guys. We are going to be back throwing right now. I just wanted to show you what it looks like before we back. Well, we got the form on there. We're using the Brentwood wheelbarrow right now to uh, put the material in. 
ran the foam two feet bigger than the perimeter of it. And we're just getting it leveled it up now in the middle. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here it is. Our big pour for today. 16 by 23. We got our radiant heat in there and everything. Um, we got coming out over here an electrical conduit. It's only one loop. So we are going to pour this out today. We're going to pour the edge first, a little bit thicker, and get it like three quarters of the way full. And then we'll drop these rebars in that are pre-bent and ready to go. They're going to go around the outside here. We'll drop them in. And then we will probably loosen up the concrete a little bit so it flows a little better and we'll pour this out. It's just me, Big Biscuit, and Gopher today. Just the three of us going to pour this little one out. And it's going to be a machine finished trout, or machine finished, maybe even a hand finish. We'll see. But we got the power trowel here. This is a interior slab, so that's how we're going to do it today. Stay tuned. The mud should be rolling in here pretty quick. The boys are unloading the tools right now. You get nothing. You get nothing for royalties. <laughs> I'll give you a shirt, yeah. Here comes the mud, guys. Circle T. Yeah, right here. 315 963 He's not sure he's in the drain. Yeah, right here, buddy. Now you heard me. Circle T for your concrete needs in central New York. They sure do treat us good. We're just little guys, but we do pour a lot of concrete with them. Hmm. Wonder who the driver is. Oh, it's Mike. Mike coming in hot. Yeah, baby. What's up, Mike? How we doing, buddy? Good, man. Good. Got a big one today. <laughs> We're gonna pull them right in there, like I said, and pour some uh, the edge a little thicker. Hey, Mike, yep. we're gonna pour them edges a little thicker around the footer, and then we're gonna maybe add a little water to you. You know what I mean? We'll get that footer in all the way around there. I got some rebar to set in there, okay. and then we'll loosen you up a, a touch. Let's get his shoots for him, boys, so he ain't gotta do it. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna get after it. Right, we got our footers all in guys i had them add a little water to it we're going to uh <laughs> top it off now see what the slump looks like and we're just going to pull it with a 16 footer this way
All right, we're just gonna fill in the rest and then we're gonna turn our screed and uh, finish it up. Come on right in, Mike. Running these edges, you guys. Making the edge a little nicer. Biscuits floating behind me. All right, guys, we laid it down once by hand. It's because it was a little soft to get out on there with the machine. So it's uh, almost noon. 
recorded at 7.30, so things are looking good. We're just waiting on it. They want a pretty smooth finish. I think he's going to put some epoxy on there. That's what she's looking like. Just cleaned up the concrete there with the excavator. That's what we're up to. The sun's coming out. It's a pretty nice day. I think she's going to be dry quick today. I wasn't bringing the machine out. Not really leaving much of a track in it. Here they come. guys we just got it all power trawled finished that up we put our we stripped our form board and we put our foam around there 10 inches of foam and I'm, I'm on the excavator now and I'm gonna dress this off I just want to show you that foam that goes down to the horizontal foam and that's how they meet and that's gonna be his heated slab all right guys that's what it looks like Tamping all that extra dirt, leveling it out. So we got it nice and neat here for them. We're going to come back in the morning. I'm going to cut it this way and this way down the middle, both directions. And uh, that's going to be their finished floor there. I think they're going to put some epoxy flake on there. And uh, I left it down a little bit. He's going to bend some metal over that foam, a little flashing detail. And then put some limestone in here, the blue limestone, to match the rest of everything. So this is just uh, item four crushed gravel, so we left it down a couple inches for him. And that's how we're going to leave it. Yeah, we just come back and cut the floor, guys. We cut it both ways down the middle. And they're going to keep it wet for about a week, so that's what she looks like. Got our foam detail all around everything. Yeah, look at that. Got his little uh, building framed up here, guys. That's what she looks like. I'll include this in the video. Get out where you can see the roof and everything. Just gotta put his metal on the ends. Put the little man door over here. That's how she came out.